Old cars are great, but most of our viewers want to see what's new. Lisa Barrow has the scoop on plenty of new models. Here she is with the latest motor news. Lisa? Thanks, John. With this fall's introduction of Toyota's new 4Runner and Nissan's Pathfinder, the four-door 4x4 war should really start to heat up. 1990 will see America's Big Two entering the market when Chevy introduces its four-door Blazer. The Chevy chassis has been lengthened to provide a larger rear passenger area and more cargo room. The larger cargo area has allowed Chevy to streamline the Blazer's looks by moving the spare tire to the inside of the vehicle. Over at Ford, the four-door Bronco is being readied for its debut as a 1991 model. While Chevy has made only minor styling changes, Ford has opted for a complete facelift in addition to the extra doors. The 1991 Bronco wears a completely new nose, as well as flush side glass and a more aerodynamic roofline. And as we've said before, two-door Bronco fans won't be left out in the cold by all the four-door fever. This is what they can expect the two-door to look like when the 91 Bronco rolls onto Ford lots. Styling will be identical to the four-door, except for the rather odd mid-side window treatment. There's some concern among U.S. manufacturers about several Japanese four-door 4x4s hitting the market well ahead of U.S. models. Japan's head start can only hurt the U.S. in a market traditionally dominated by American machines. In other Ford news, Dearborn is recalling more than 341,000 cars and trucks to repair defective alternators. Affected vehicles include the 1988 Ford Taurus, Mercury Sable, and Lincoln Continental. All are equipped with three or 3.8 liter V6 engines. Ford's F-Series trucks and Econoline vans with 4.9 liter gas and 7.3 liter diesel engines are also affected. The defective alternators could cause the charging system to fail. Ford is also recalling some 1989 Lincoln Continentals. 750 of the cars may have left the factory with loose seat belt mounting bolts. Ford would like to inspect those cars to make sure there's no safety hazard. John?